What's up guys, Mojo Cakes here, and today we're gonna be talking about the new Undefeated Air Force One vs. Nike Dunk Pack, and everything you need to know about this release. Let's get right into it. Nike Dunk Low 5 on it pack is in addition to the undefeated Nike Dunk Low Dunk First Air Force One pack. This Nike Dunk First Air Force One pack will be called the 5 on it pack and is scheduled to release on August 6th exclusively at undefeated.com as well as undefeated's flagship stores. We most likely will not be seeing a Nike sneakers release as the previous Air Force One vs Dunk pack we did not see the Air Force One nor the Dunk release on Nike sneakers so most likely it's going to be exclusive to the undefeated site. So in this undefeated 5 on it pack, we're going to be seeing the Nike Dunk Low and the Air Force One Low. Both shoes feature a mix of 5 textiles and prints including snakeskin, leather, nubuck, suede, and canvas as well as Dunk First Air Force One branding on the insoles. This 5 on it pack is inspired by the late 90s and early 90s era that brought bold exotic materials to sneaker culture. Finishing off the design of both these sneakers, the Air Force One Low and Nike Dunk Low also include undefeated signature 5 strike logos on the tongue tag. So honestly, I personally do like this 5 on it pack a bit more than the last Air Force One vs Nike Dunk pack. I just think the colorway on the Air Force One on this one is probably a bit more wearable and personally is my favorite out of the two Air Force Ones to release so far. The Dunk on the other hand may be a bit too loud for some people and maybe others do like the inside out colorway Dunk that did release last pack. Personally, I like the loud colorway of this one. I think it's different and I do like the way the blue contrasts with the sail midsole. So retail prices for both these shoes have not been released yet, but it will most likely be similar to the last Air Force One vs Undefeated pack. Most likely the Air Force Ones will have a retail price of 140 USD, while the Dunks will most likely have a retail price of 120 USD. Now those retail prices are a bit higher than the average Nike Dunk Low and average Air Force One Low. That's because it is a collab and usually with collabs they jump up the retail price a bit higher. Now the box for both of these sneakers will come in the same box as the last Air Force One vs Dunk pack and that is obviously being the blue box with the Dunk vs Air Force One branding on it. So like I mentioned earlier, the whole concept behind this pack is obviously bringing the materials of the late 90s and early 2000s era, you know, with the snakeskin leather, new box, suede, and canvas material. Now the gray Air Force One in this new 5 on it pack isn't loaded up on StockX, but I do expect resale price on that Air Force One to probably be fairly similar to the last Air Force One that released. So most likely around 140 to 160, probably be around there. If it is limited, which I am thinking it might be, resale might be around the $175 to $200 price range. I haven't seen too many early pairs of that Air Force One, but most likely I think it will be fairly similar to the resale value of the last Air Force One that released in the Air Force One vs Dunk Pack in the ballistic colorway. Now resale price on the blue and purple Nike Dunk Low on the other hand, I do believe that this Dunk Low will have a bit higher resale than the past Dunk Low in the Air Force One vs Dunk Pack. Resale currently on this Dunk Low is around the $250 to $350 price range depending on size. I do think that resale price will most likely come down after the release and once people get their pairs in, probably to around maybe $250 to $275, probably stay around there. It could even come down close to retail like the previous one, just because I do think stocks can be quite high for both of these sneakers. And you know, there will be a decent amount of W's just like we saw with the past release. So my predictions is for this dunk low to probably come down to maybe $250, $275, like I said. But if stock is super high like the previous dunk, it could come down to maybe $150 to $175 maybe around the $200 price range. But make sure to let me know down in the comments your guys' thoughts on this new Dunk First Air Force One 5 on it pack and which sneaker you are going to be trying to cop, the Air Force One or the Nike Dunk Low. And also, make sure to tell me down in the comments if you do prefer the last previous pack that did release or this new 5 on it pack. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to smash that like button down below and also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But as always, guys, stay safe and I'll catch you in the next video.